Hello and welcome to Moving On Music's All About Jazz series. My name is Aoife Doyle and in this video I'm going to talk about some of the ingredients which go into jazz singing. So there's a wide range of jazz standard repertoire available to choose from for a jazz singer. There's lots and lots of songs, lots and lots of tunes from all the various different eras of jazz history. So just to give you a little example of one of those, I'm going to sing an excerpt now from a jazz ballad called The Nearness of You, and this was written by Hoagie Carmichael. It's not the pale moon that excites me Jazz is an improvised music, so the way that a jazz singer will approach a song can be different each time that they sing it. Often we will play around with the phrases, maybe with the timing of the phrases, um, accentuating specific words within a line, and we can also maybe change some of the notes to maybe ones that are in the chord or somewhere else in the harmony. When we talk about phrases, what we mean by that is the lines of the song. So for example, on the song that I just sang, The Nearness of You, the first phrase or the first line is, it's not the pale moon that excites me. So the way that a jazz singer will approach phrasing is we often like to sit back on the time, come in a little bit late with a phrase, or sometimes we might anticipate a phrase, or sometimes we might just sing it exactly in time. So just to give you an example of that on the nearness of you, I'm going to sing the second phrase late and I'm going to come in exactly on time with the third phrase. So the first phrase is, it's not the pale moon that excites me. Now I'm going to come in late. So I came in exactly on time with the third phrase. So I could also come in a little bit late with the third phrase if I wanted to do that and let the second phrase spill over into the chords of that third phrase. So I'll just give you a little example of that. It's not the pale moon that excites me. So I kind of let the second phrase eke into the third phrase's bars, if you like, and then I came in a little bit late with the third phrase too. So there's a lot of fun you can have with the time, uh, with these jazz standards and with all kinds of songs actually. You can push and pull the time and do all sorts of creative things. So it's definitely worth giving it a try, it's exciting, it's fun. Jazz singers will often change the melody slightly from performance to performance also. We might add in a note here and there that's in the harmony somewhere else, which I mentioned before, or in the chord somewhere. Um, so I, did, I already did that when I performed The Nearness of You the first time, but I'm gonna sing it again and I'm gonna change some more notes just to give you an idea of how that might sound. So I'm gonna really go to town and change the notes a lot just so you can get an idea of what that sounds like. It's not the pale moon that excites me that thrills and delights me oh no it's just the nearness of you
So I changed quite a lot of notes there um, from the original melody. And I added in a little kind of a turn at the end where there was a little bit of space, that little do -do 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 part. Um, that's another thing that jazz singers often do. While jazz singers often sing songs from the standard jazz repertoire, we also like to sing songs from other genres and sometimes we write our own songs and our own tunes and compose our own music. So just with that in mind, I wanted to sing a, a song from another genre of music and apply some of the things we talked about earlier in the video. So I'm going to sing the song Spansel Hill, which is an Irish folk song, and this is the way it's normally sung. Last night as I lay dreaming of pleasant days gone by. Now I'm going to add in some of my jazz techniques to that. So some phrasing and some maybe note embellishments too. Last night as I lay dreaming of pleasant days gone by. So what I did there was I changed some of the timing of the phrases and I also changed a number of the notes. Um, and most notably at the end there, I sang days gone by. So I'm playing a minor triad, that's a minor chord, and I sang do which is a major seventh. So that has the effect of making a, a minor major chord, which has a flattened third and a major seventh. And this is a melodic minor scale harmony sound. So that's quite specific to jazz. It's not um, really ever heard in folk music, music at all, as far as I know. Um, so I, I, by changing the, the notes in the way that I did and adding in that major seventh, I gave the song a very specific jazz flavour. So there's all kinds of things you can do with the phrasing and with the notes um, and it doesn't even have to be on a jazz standard. So I do encourage you to try it on a song that you that you know already. Just, just even try improvising, just try doing something different than you normally would. Um, it's a lot of fun and there's lots of ways to be creative with it. Jazz singers often sing songs with words, but another thing that we do is sing songs without words. So um, I'm just going to give you a little example of what that might sound like. So this is called Sunny Moon for Two and it's uh, jazz blues. <laughs> There's lots of tunes like this in the standard jazz repertoire which um, don't have words. So it can be a lot of fun for a jazz singer to, to try out just singing these wordless tunes um, with vowel sounds or whatever sounds you want to make. Um, and this is where, as jazz singers, we're, we're, we're kind of closely related to a horn player or to an instrumentalist. Um, because we do sing songs in this kind of instrumental way. So, like a horn player, jazz singers also take solos on tunes. So I'm just going to do a little solo on this so you can hear what that sounds like. So um, that's what people often call scat singing um, and we can do it on all kinds of tunes again. That's just an example on a, on a blues, but we can do it on all kinds of tunes. And again, it's a really fun way to be creative and express yourself and just uh, find new ways to use your voice. Thanks for tuning into this video. Really enjoyed talking to you guys about jazz singing. And I hope you try out some of these ideas. 
And if you do try out anything and want to share it, I'd love to see how you're getting on. So please do tag Moving On Music. Take care now. Bye.